without detail. Mm. Hey, <laughs> I am not organized tonight. Not even a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> How are y'all? Okay. It is so hot here in my crafty room. I think it's just hot in my house tonight. We had had a storm this afternoon. I mean, it poured down rain. I got soaking wet while I left work. Between the store here, I'm trying to get us straight here. Between the store, hey, Debbie. Between the store and my car, I mean, I got soaked. But I had my jacket over my head. <laughs> and it got soaked and my back got soaked. And whew. But it was, it's been a day to day. But I hope I'm ready. I think I am. I'm going to tell you though, I have, I think I have lost a couple of stamps from my uh, Christmas Rose stamp set. And I'm, I'm very, very upset with myself for losing them. I have no clue. I have looked all over my desktop. I looked in the garbage can. I've looked everywhere. I cannot find them. Now I adapted for what I'm making tonight, but because it's the, some of the berries, uh, yeah, you'll probably get it by morning. Debbie, it's headed your way. <laughs> yeah, yippee. It's rained off and on after I got home and, uh, poured down a couple of times and the dogs have been real mad so hi jesse yeah Debbie, i know it 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 upsets me but you know what can i say like i said i compromised and i still created us a card out of it so we are starting with whisper, whisper white thick and um you know, 11 and a half by f um, eight and a half by <laughs> five and a half. I don't even know what I'm saying. Scored at four and a quarter. I thought we'd go ahead and get started because I'm sure somebody else is going to come along in a few minutes. And uh, we're going to set this aside. We have our envelope. We have some lovely lipstick. That I'm going to cut something out of. This is what I'm going to stamp on. And, um, excuse me, I have some uh, pear pizzazz as my layer on my card. These are, I haven't even wrote down measurements or anything, but these are five and three, three eighths, three eighths by four and an eighth. That's what they are. And, uh, this is just scrap because I'm going to cut out of it. This is my sentiment piece for the inside. Four by two and three fourths. This is just a five and a half, uh, five by five piece of uh, Whisper White Thick. And like I said, there's my envelope. We're going to use my Stamparatus so I can line everything up. We're going to, uh, Lord have mercy. We're going to use the Christmas Rose. And, uh... Then we're going to, I threw my Stamparatus in my drawer over here. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a good place for it? I'll tell you what, I stuck my magnets together a while ago. I mean, just as pretty as you please. And I had to use my snips. I used them on one end and on the other. You can tell where I cut my uh, duct tape trying to get them apart, but it worked. And... Uh, Okay, I'm going to tell you, I think this is my side. I picked this up and um, because I've got to take these off because I'm using the uh, cling stamps first. And when I picked that up a while ago, I messed up my grid paper. So stick these on here and... Uh, Scoot that because we'll use that in a minute for the photopolymer stamps. And we're going to stamp our big rows first. And I hope I have got this. I do. <laughs> you know, I was going to say, I hope I have this lined up like I wanted it. 
right, so we're going to stick this under here. We're going to ink this up in Memento. And I'm going to tell you, I... On my sample, I used real red for my rose. But I think for this one... Hi, Barb! Glad you're here. But for this one, I think I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp it because I think it's too dark and I just didn't have time to go back and you know try to fix it so uh, gosh almighty <laughs> I don't know where all this stuff is coming from Whoo -wee. this heat is just getting to me you know, we had so cold so cold so cold and then Johnny said yesterday when they said it was going to get to 80, he came in before we left the church. He said, I don't think it's going to get to 80 today. I said, you don't think so? He said, no, it's too cloudy. Well, the sun hadn't come out yet. <laughs> it came out, and it got hot. By the time we got out of church, it was quite toasty. And I told him, I said, see? And I didn't wear long sleeves to church. He did. Because I thought, yeah, it gets hot. I'm not going to burn up. Because I can always turn the heater on in the car to get warm. <laughs> you know. Well, I could turn the air conditioner on to get cool too. But I just didn't. I wasn't not dressing like it was going to be cold. And it got hot yesterday. We turned the air conditioner on. Crazy. Yesterday morning we had the air of uh, the heater on because it was chilly in here. We needed to get the chill out. And then yesterday afternoon, the air conditioner. I swanee, this lovely Alabama weather. Just love it. Just love it. I'll tell you what, my other Simply Chamois got so bad looking, I thought I am not using that thing anymore. So I dug me out another one. I cut it in half because I think I can handle it a little better. I may even cut the other piece into uh, in half too and have it in the fourth and use it like that because I think I might even handle that even better. But, like that size. Hi, Mona. I'll tell you what. Mona sells Tupperware. And I challenged my team to uh, do live videos. And Mona did one on her Tupperware page today. And she did an awesome job. So, the next thing I expect out of Mona is a live Stampin' Up! one. <laughs> but anyway hi Tammy hi Gloria oh my gosh yes I put water on the chamois I sure did just this one I didn't water I didn't I didn't uh, put water on this half I just put water on this half and uh, I love it Okay, we're going to take this one off, this plate off, and then we're going to come, and they're stuck together. Of course, it's stuck to the back of this plate. <laughs> All right, we're going to use this side because I'm going to color my rose. But like I said, the first thing I'm going to, I think I'm going to do is uh, stamp it off. And we're going to use this um, real red. But first... What I definitely need to do, and this is where I goofed up a little ago, is whenever I pulled my uh, magnets off and stuck them to the same side. <laughs> Let me put these here and put this back. Now, see, I'm lining up my um, cardstock with this line right here. That way, when I put it back down, I know I've got it pretty much the same place that I had it. I hope. <laughs> I hope I did get it back where I had it. All right, but now first of all, I'm going to just get, uh, I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm just going to lay down this like this. And I'm going to take my real red. And I'm going to ink up my rose. And then this is going to stick because it stick to that plastic. Anyway, I'm going to take some of this color off of this. I'm going to lay it down because if this doesn't work, I can always come back and do it. 
full color, you know? Something's blocking the top of the screen. Ah! Sorry, I guess I knocked it and scooted it. Sorry about that. Here you go. That better? Okay. Hmm. That almost looks pink. I wanted a little more red than that. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to stamp it off again. But maybe not as hard this time. Just look there. They're stuck. Let's do that again. We're just seeing if this works. Hi, Kathy. Glad you joined us. Yay. Okay, I like that. I like that. That I'm going to be happy with that. I am going to be happy with that. Now then. Clean the stamp off. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over. And these are the leaves and the, like the pine straw here. And um, I'm going to do it in old olive. And uh, this old olive is kind of dark also. So I'll probably do the same thing with it and do um stamp it off and then stamp it on. So we're just going to this is just old used grid paper. I always keep it if it's not real messy. Look at there. <laughs> if it's not real messy and use it again, you know, for whenever I'm making my samples and stuff. And look at there. I'm going to fix it to stick my arm right into the old olive. I thought I, that would be fun, I'm guessing. So I left it laying right where I could do that if I hadn't seen it. Okay, I think I like that. I think I like that. I do, I do, I do. So we'll just set that up there. Let's clean these stamps off real quick. Alrighty. And now, as I was saying, right whenever it's coming on, I lost two of my stamps to this. I do not know what happened to them. I looked and looked and looked, but it's berry stamps. So, I've compromised with my berries. I used my uh, Stampin' Blend. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to compromise. And that's what I did. But now, I'm not going to stamp off on these berries. These are uh, lovely lipstick. Because, you know, the berries, I want them a little bit darker. So... See, I'm missing this one and this one. And it just breaks my heart. I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. I looked in the trash. I looked under everything. I looked on my ink pads. I looked on my stamp cases and everything. And I cannot find those two stamps. But I'm thankful that it's berries. Because like I said, I can compromise with the berries depending on what color. I color them, you know, you, what ink color I use because I've got the Stampin' Blend real red. So I can uh, fill in with that. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to take uh, and fill in these little berries right here with my uh, Stampin' Blend. And you don't even have to really over ink it. You, you know, just tap it on there just slightly and it spreads and uh, looks just fine so you know you can always compromise for some things and I am so thankful that I can compromise with this and as I look at that rose I think man maybe it needs to be a little darker than that I'm not sure what do y'all think but I'm gonna tell you the um, real red just 
full force is just too, 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 too dark. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Alrighty, so I'm going to take this one off and lay it over here out of the way. Now we're going to take this off, and the only thing we have left to color is the pine cones. And that stamp, I have, I'm going to set that back in my drawer, is I have it on a B block here, and I'm going to take some pear pizzazz and just stamp my pine cones here. I'm going to stamp this one. Okay, I'm off a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not, you know, I'm not fretting it. That one I matched up. Well, uh, I'm better. <laughs> this one, eh, not too bad. Okay, so there's our pine cones color. So here's our rose. I love it. I'll tell you what, this, this set is just awesome. I am mean, and it is just awesome. I just love it. I'm going to close these stamp sets before I set something in it. Whoops, I'm not through with this. We need to stamp our envelope. And I'm going to stamp a pine cone on the inside piece here for our, with our sentiment also. So let's go ahead and do that while we've got this right here. Because you never send a naked envelope. And you know, it does not have to be... Hi, Kayla. Hi, Joanna. Yay. Hi, Kathy. I'm so glad y'all are here. But you know, you never send a naked envelope. And nothing says it has to be full or anything. Just something. You know, something that coordinates with the inside. So, any hoodles. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's do our big shot work. Um... Next, let's get her over here. Scoot things out of the way. I mean, I've just got things everywhere. <laughs> All righty. We're going to lay this here. I'll tell you what, I love this. I'm going to have to show y'all my very first rose that I did. I was not really sure until Jesse made mention of it Saturday when we were doing Paper Pumpkin. Oh, uh, what you did with these stamps. I didn't know that you matched these stamps up to this. Duh. <laughs> you know. And my goodness. Look, I've, I've got it there. Whew! I'm losing my mind tonight. <laughs> but, oh. Uh, Anyway, the first one I colored, and I'll, I'll show y'all. I've cut it out, and that's as far as I've got. I have not made a card with it or anything, but I want to show it to y'all because I think it's gorgeous. I just love it. I just love it. Okay, now, with our um, lovely lipstick, I am going to cut this piece right here out. I'm going to do it this way, and I'm tea. I don't have my precision plate on here, so I'm going to roll it through a few times. So that's what I had to do to get all those little pieces out of the other one. And uh, let's see if it's going to come out. See if these will come out. Yeah, because look, you can practically, except for the little dots in there, just rake those out with your thumb, and uh, your thumbnail rather, and then these... Right here, these little dots that don't come out, just pop them out with your uh, your piercing tool, or if you've got the uh, the other tool, Debbie will tell you what the name of it is. <laughs> I do not know why I can never remember the name of that thing. Oh. Uh, Anyway, it's got a pure straw on it, too, that you can use. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, we'll use this one more time, but I've got to stamp first. So, there we go. We're going to lay that right over there. Now then, we're going to take, and of course, Sharon forgot to get one. Why would I ever think that I would have everything that I was going to use? Well, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Because I always forget something. And I did. Okay. 
we're going to use, I had stamped the first one in lovely lipstick, and I thought, oh, that looks pretty, but not for my card. So it'll look pretty for something else, but it did not look pretty for my card here. So I went to our Memento Tuxedo Black, and it looks a lot better. So, go ahead and stamp that. And we're going to cut this out with the big shot. But while I've got the Memento open, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment on the inside. And I'm going to tell you what. I thought I had it on my sample card straight and pretty. I put it on the inside of my card and it's as crooked as I'll get out. <laughs> yeah, crooked as I'll get out. Uh -huh. you got to be kidding. That looks so straight. And look there, that one's a little crooked too, but nothing like that other one. Sheesh. You know, like so much for the way I think. Yippee. Oh, Lord. That pot's gone crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, man. Yep, that pot's gone crazy. Nothing new, nothing new. Okay, now then, we're going to get our big shot back over here. We're going to take this label um, die that comes in the dies for the set, and we're going to cut this out. Is that not gorgeous? Love it. I think I smeared the tuxedo just a little. Okay. I love the shape and everything about this die. Big shot for your missing stamp. No, Gloria didn't think of that. No, it's not there. Huh. I'm going to find it. Yeah, I'll find them. But, you know, like I said, I'm not going to fret it real big since it's just the berries. If it's been something else, you know, some of the bigger pieces, I probably would have just died. <laughs> just died. Okay. I'm going to take a sponge dauber in this lovely lipstick. and I'm going to smear some of this off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the edges of this. This way it's going to uh, make it pop out away from that uh, pear pizzazz. And not, you know, just be so white against it because I didn't want it just white. So this is going to give it some color and I'm going crazy with it. I need to stop. <laughs> Ooh. Tell you what, look at my fingers. This is where I handled my old um, chamois and uh, I had wiped some of the um, real red off, and then I ended up with it all over my hands, which I'm pretty good at that. If I'm not careful. Alrighty, now we are going to take and put our layers on. Get my liquid glue and get our layers on here like this. Whew. It's just like a spongy piece of glue. I think that was on the side of my glue top. Alrighty. Center this up. Well, I've got it open. Go ahead and put my inside sentiment on. Like this. Okay. Set that in there. Look there. How crooked that looks. I almost think this is crooked. I don't know. It's okay. It's homemade with love. So, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Whew. Sounds like the babies are aggravating an angel in there. They've been stinkers this afternoon. Real stinkers. <laughs> but, oh, well. Alrighty, now then. Of course, we're going to use dimensionals here. And, um, there they are. Lot of gosh. Swanee, I can't keep up with the thing this evening. 
I'm going to use quite a few here on my rows. Well, I pulled the cover off of one. There it is. I see it there. I'll get it in a minute. Because I want this to pop up really nice. And uh, look really good. I don't want it saggy. You know, I don't like anything that's saggy. I want it all nice and popped up. You get so many of these things so it doesn't bother me to overuse my dimensionals because I just love them. Now then, I'm going to get dimensionals on our sentiment too. And uh, quite a few on here. Okay. Put one right in the middle. All right. Right over there. And we're going to throw that up there. Now, going to go like this. I'm going to take the backs off. Ouch. That's stuck under my thumb like a needle. i tell you what. When I was using my snips to get my magnets apart, I poked my thumb with the first one and then I poked my finger with the other one. And <laughs> I do have some little sharp little points on them things. So, you have to be careful with them. So, y'all be careful and don't poke yourself. Then you cut you good, too. Alrighty. Yep, I got them all off. Okay. Now, I know on the um, front of the stamp case, it shows the uh, rows going this away. But it doesn't have to because it doesn't on my card. It's going this way because this is how I could get it on here and then get my sentiment on here too. <laughs> so it's going this way. Now, to get this on here, because, yep, you know, look how that it looks like lattice work and I want it to stick, but uh, it doesn't have to totally stick. All of it. So I took some tearing tape and um, put on the back of it. And uh, it was easier to use my piercing tool to get the back off because I could not grab a hold of it with my fingernail. And then I'm going to stick this one up just a little further than I did the other one. And I'm going to get it out in the middle here. And then we're going to take the backs off of our sentiment and uh, put it on. And we'll have this card done. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I don't have another card put together, but I've got something else I want to show y'all. Something that I learned on, I saw on, I can't, I'm going to tell you, I honestly cannot remember who did it. And I cannot remember where I even saw, I know that I watched a video on YouTube and saw it and then I went to this lady's YouTube channel and saw how she did it and I usually write the names down and for the life of me I did not write the names down for this and um, it is awesome I'm just I have not made a card out of the first one I've made but I'm going to show y'all how to make it and, uh, and then y'all can make them too anyway I think I like my first one with my sentiment. I had my sentiment over this away, but a bit more. And this one I put down right straight under it. And I wished it was over there. But anyway, here's the first one. Here's the uh, real red. Full strength. And uh, then here it is where I stamped it off. This is the old olive full strength. And then where I stamped it off. Totally different look. Same colors. Totally different look. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. And I think I like my uh, sentiment over to the side a little better than right under it. But, you know, it's something that you just do everything the, just how you want it. I mean, you can make it how you want it. You make it different. And that way, every one of them is not alike, you know? But I love this. I just love this stamp set. I can't wait to play more and more and more with it. But let me show you the one that I colored with my Stampin' Blends. Here it is. 
there and I cut it out now this color let me tell you my colors I used the rose itself is um flirty flamingo that's the roses the leaves I cut in granny apple green both the um light in the dark and i used the dark on the veins here and then i used on these um i know they've got to do something with the pine tree <laughs> anyway i did those in the um i did i used the light old olive on those and then my berries i did in the light real red and then i used crumb cake on the pine cones and uh so that's how i did that one and i'll get a card made with it at some point or another and uh so i really like how it turned out too so see totally different look inks stamping blends and you know really where i came back with uh my stamping blends on here is this right these two right here that I've lost the stamps you can't you these look a little bit lighter than these but you know it's not as noticeable as you would have thought that it would be so I'm I'm happy with it I'm okay with it and like I said I am sure I'm going to find those stamps and if I don't I'm not going to cry too bad <laughs> okay now <coughs> What I'm going to show you. Oh, I have them over here. <laughs> Alrighty. We are going to stamp this leaf right here from the Colorful Seasons. We're just going to use a piece of um, Whisper White Thick. We're also going to use the die for it. And of course, Sharon does not have these mounted. <laughs> I didn't. This was kind of a last. Oh, I'll probably get done quick sooner than I think, and I've got to show them something else. <laughs> anyway, I've got some stamping blends. Let me get a block. Let me put that on one. Let's get a D here. And I'm going to use. Let me see. What did I use for my first one? I think I used. Hmm. I don't know that it really matters. I know what I used. Never mind. I know exactly what I used. We're going to emboss it. I used Versamark. Okay. Copper embossing powder. Well, it just doesn't want to shut. Okay, there we go. My heat tool. Ah, I'm fixing to make the racket. Oh, yes, Mona and Jesse love embossing. <laughs> yes, Debbie, needles. That's what those are. Those are pine needles. Okay, I'm going to warm up the back and then we're going to emboss the front. Ooh, don't you just love it when it starts melting that embossing powder? And it just looks so awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yes, I love it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right. Now then, what we are going to do, we're going to start with our, um, that's Clips of Coral. We want Cajun Craze. That's Paper that's pumpkin pie. Okay. We're going to start with Cajun Craze. Then we're going to go to uh, Calypso Coral. 
And then we're going to go to pumpkin pie. Yep, that's what we're going to do. But the first thing we're going to do is do this, make sure it's cool. Alrighty, we're going to start with our dark first, just a little bit. We're not going to use gobs of it, but we're going to just put a little here. Don't want to go crazy with it, you know what I'm saying? Just use some. And then we're going to come with our light. And we're just going to come over our dark and come on up with our light. And uh, this is probably going to make us be over our time. But I just wanted to show y'all this because I thought, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And I so love fall leaves and I love trees. And this just made my heart pound. And <laughs> I love this. Now then, we're going to move on to our uh, dark calypso coral. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to start right here where the light Cajun craze was. You don't want to go too far up because you want, you know, you want all of our colors there. And uh, it's just, you know, just kind of do it, kind of blend it in. And I'm telling you, it looks like, man, that just looks crappy. <laughs> That's what I thought the first time I, with my other one. I thought, man, that just looks crappy. But once it dries and it blends on together, oh, goodness, it just looks so much just like a fall leaf. And I love it. Okay. Now we're going to use the, the light, yep, the light clips of coral. We're going to come down into that dark and pull some of that up with the light. We're just going to pull it up. We don't want to use up all of our space here because we've got some pumpkin pie to put in with this. And uh, we want that color to be in here too. Just come on up with it like this. And just blend it like that. Now the our dark pumpkin pie. Just going to do just a little. It's got to have a space here for some light. But see, I'm coming up from out of the uh, light clip, so coral, so to kind of blend just a little. Now we're going to use our light pumpkin pie and finish these right here out. Now, See what I'm saying? How you did this? It's just not gorgeous. Look there. Just pull it on out. Pull it on out. All right. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start and I'm going to do all of my uh, Cajun craze. I just wanted to give y'all an idea of it by doing just one with some of this. But I'm going to start and I'm going to do uh, all of it like this. That way it's not going to take as long going back and forth and back and forth with the colors, you know. And uh, it still works just fine. I just love this. I tell you what, I sure hope sweat drops don't start falling off my face because it feels like it is really sweating. <laughs> I'll be kind of embarrassed if it does. And I can feel one trying to get into my eye right over here okay there's the dark now we're going to use the light we're going to come in with the light uh cajun craze and you know you can use any colors you want you don't have to particularly use these colors but this just makes a gorgeous leaf with these colors these are the colors she used and i thought oh my gosh it's like they just fell off the tree. But you know, I bet you can use some different colors and shades of yellows, and they would be gorgeous. Yep, yep, yep. May have to try that. Just a minute. I gotta get that sweat out of my eye. I told you it was hot in here. 
don't usually sweat in here. Then you didn't want to turn the ceiling fan on higher because it would blow the embossing powder everywhere. I've had that happen before. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. <clears throat> now then, light clip so coral. Come on up with it. Just like this. Some of this is not going to have much of the pumpkin pie in it because you just run out of room and I get a little excited and go too far with it, you know. But that's okay. Every leaf is not the same. They're all beautiful and gorgeous. And ours are just dying and falling off the trees. No beautiful colors on our big old tree in the backyard. It's always had gorgeous colors on it, but then lightning struck it this year and uh, it went down a limb right into the heart of the tree and we we're so afraid that it's killed it. That tree's been there. It was big when we bought our home 18 years ago and uh, the kids grew up climbing that thing and I just, it just breaks my heart that we may lose our tree. If you cut it down, it'd probably reach all the way up to the house and it's in the very back of our yard. So, we're hoping maybe we won't lose it. Dad said that uh, my grandparents had a beautiful oak tree up next to their house at Lightning Hit. And they thought it had killed it and it's still alive over there <laughs> at my grandparents' old home place. So... You know, you never know. So, okay, I'm just going to use this light pumpkin pie and just blend these colors together all over here. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I did. I took a paper towel. Here it is. I just kind of wadded it up like this. Jimmy wants to go see the leaves. I hope you don't lose your tree. Oh, I hope I don't lose the tree either. I'm gonna have an, when are you going to have an embossing class? I can have an embossing class whenever anybody wants me to have one. <laughs> you, If you tell me you're coming, I'll have an embossing class, Debbie. Be glad to. Anyway, this, what I'm doing is I just want to get any of the ink off of the um, copper embossing. That's what I want to do with it. Okay, now we're going to get the big shot over here, and we're going to cut it out with our die. Right here. And line it up. I try to make sure I line it up good with the stem because I don't want to lose any of the stem or make it any smaller by cutting it smaller. You know? And um, there we go. Okay, let's set this back over here, out of the way, and there's our leaf. Ta-da! Now this is the first one that I did. And see, after it sets a little while, how it just kind of blended more together. But this one, I think I blended a little better than I did this one. So, but that, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, now y'all can make you some awesome leaves. This is an awesome way to make them. But I'm telling you, ooh, excuse me. I'm together together. I cut, le I cut some leaves from our uh, dye, our embossing dye. And uh, there they are out of the gold. <laughs> I gotta use some, make something with those. I have not. I just thought, oh, I want to see how they do, and I did, and they look gorgeous. So, anyway, ladies, that is it. That is it for this evening. I am so glad y'all came. Thank you so much. Thank you, Barb, Kayla, Jessie, Debbie. Excuse me, Gloria and everybody, and I just, oh man, 
I'm so glad y'all came. And my my laptop is just going plum crazy over there. Anyway, okay. Here's our leaves. Here's our card. Here's this uh, rose that I colored with um, my Stampin' Blends. Let me get an envelope here. Here's our envelope. Here's our card. The inside, see this one. And I got some on it. See, this one's really crooked. But I think it being crooked makes the top look crooked, but the top's really not. It's just me. <laughs> you know, I'm just crooked a little bit, though. But anyway, there you are. There is our cards projects for tonight. Thank y'all so much for coming. And um, if you don't have a demonstrator, this stamp set, it's a, you can get it in a bundle for 10% off, or you can get it in a suite. The bundle will still be 10% off, but then you can get everything else. I showed y'all last Monday everything that comes in the suite, and uh, it will be available November the, I think it's the first. For anybody that is not a dem demonstrator, but now if you want to get it right now, and you want to join my team, you can get it for part of your... Um, kit you can get it in your first very first order that you order after you get your kit because you can get a $125 kit for $99 by just joining my team it's some awesome stuff and um anyways but this is an awesome set an awesome set so whew, um I have a prayer request I think I have one every Monday now um very sweet lady. I grew up with her. Uh, I've known her parents. Uh, they were friends of my mom and my biological fathers. And um, they had family members that we were real close to, too. But we went to church with them when I was growing up. And uh, my friend's uncle passed away Saturday morning. This is her mom's brother-in-law. And this morning, her aunt passed away, this man, her uncle's wife, and her aunt is her mom's sister. And so, uh, remember that family, especially her, their daughter, because she lost her parents within two days of each other, her dad on Saturday morning, her mom this morning. And so, I would appreciate if you would remember them. They are uh, the Sterling family. And uh, then my friend, her name is Kathy, and her mom is name is Lorraine. So thank you. I appreciate the prayers for them because I know they're going to need it right now. I could not imagine losing uh, both parents within two days, or your brother-in-law and sister. And you know, he his family lost their son. Their their, well, rather their brother and their sister-in-law so I couldn't imagine that but anyway they need our prayers so I appreciate that y'all I just uh just don't know how much I appreciate y'all being prayer warriors for me because I pray for y'all every day because we all need it and uh you know we're in perilous times here and we don't know. We might not even wake up in the morning. We may be taken up instead. So, <laughs> you know, we never know. So we just have to be prepared and ready. But any hoodles, doodles, um, it is my plan. If good Lord willing, I will be back next Monday evening. Not promising that I'll be any more prepared than I was this evening. May not even be as prepared because Wednesday I've got to finish preparing for my class next Tuesday. And uh, then this weekend uh, I have um, I have to work Friday evening, which I have not done in forever and ever. And then Saturday evening is our uh, fall festival at church i'm really excited about that we've worked hard for that on that and then i have to work sunday mm -hmm. so wednesday's going to be my last day to prepare for my class so i'm going to have to do that wednesday i've got 
more than half of it done. I've just got to get the other half. So next Monday may be a, let's see whatever we can come up with night. But uh, we do pretty good with those, don't we? But anyway, I love y'all. I just thank y'all so much for coming, and I sure appreciate that. And y'all have an awesome, blessed evening and week, and get in your crafty room and create something and, and show it here on our page so we can all enjoy it. And uh, like I said, good Lord willing, I'll see y'all next Monday evening. Bye!